Hello and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I'm going to be doing some experimentation with my brand new Starlink. Now I've brought this so that I could use it here in the barn and it uses 240 volt. But when I'm off travelling in my camper van I'd like to convert it to run on 12 volts and I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube showing you how to do this. Unfortunately all those videos you have to cut wires rejoin ethernet cables and all sorts of malarkey it looks really complicated so i've done a little bit of research and i found the perfect solution for this where you don't have to cut any wires it's simply plug and play and you can use your starlink on 12 volt and the main benefit of doing this is so that i can use this starlink dish here in the workshop when i'm here working on the van when i go off traveling i can simply unplug it leave the starlink router here in the workshop and use my modified router in the camper van. Big question is, is it actually worth it? So the main two components of Starlink system is the dish itself and a router. And with these come two cables, a power cable for the router and a cable that connects the router to the dish. That is basically it, it's a really simple system. And I've seen people use these in their camper vans quite successfully using an inverter because these do actually run on 240 volts here in the UK anyway. So I think the first thing I need to do is actually put this outside. So before we do that, we need to plug this into here. Like that. That's it. And then the other end of this cable plugs into the router. Now the systems I've seen people use to convert these to 12 volts don't actually cut this plug off. But I'm not going to do that. Let's go and put this outside where it belongs. Right, let's plug this in there. So this is the standard Starlink router. We're going to power it up. Again, this runs on 240 volts. And to monitor how much power it uses, I'm going to use this little Bluetti. Let's turn it on. Right, so my Starlink is up and running. It's drawing 63 watts. It's fluctuating between 55 watts, 64. And the speed test is 51 megabytes, 10.1 um, megabyte upload. So there you go. Anyway, it is fluctuating. Let's have a look. I'll show you. Let's watch. Um, Know, let's just do something. Let's go to here. See what happens. See if, if I'm on my laptop. You can see it's super quick. It really is really fast. So let's watch one of my favourite YouTubers. There you go, 72. So let's say it's peaking at 72. 72 watts it's peaking at. Good morning, everyone. Well, it's another day and we're headed back down. To the barn. So you go. Oh, no. <laughs> it's yeah. It's hovering around about 70 watts. So we're gonna call it that I think. So now I'm gonna switch it off, reset the uh do I have to reset it or can I just turn it off? What happens if you turn it off? I don't know. It says it's online. So what happens if you actually power the Starlink off? Will it damage it? Let's find out. <laughs> don't know if you meant to do this or not. So I'm just going to turn it off. Now to run it on 12 volts, I found this little grey box on Amazon. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it works or not, because I've not tried it yet. So let's unplug the Starlink from the original router. And according to this, you can just simply plug your Starlink lead into this. I've got this little mobile um, modem. That's going to plug into there. Starlink's going to plug into there. Let's turn on the Blue Etty now. Switch it on. See what happens. We've got a blue light come up on there. And how many watts are we going to draw? More importantly, will it work? Okay, so the Starlink says it's disconnected still. Let's refresh this. Okay, well, we have success. The Starlink is now running on 12 volts. Really simple to do. And it's actually a little bit faster using this router. So I'm impressed by that. 
um, is 10.6 megabytes per second upload, whereas before it was 10.1, and this now says 90 megabytes, where I think it was 57, was it? I can't remember now. Let me look at the photos. I screenshotted it. Yeah, so with the original Starlink, it was 51. That's a screenshot. And on the app, right now, it says 90. Let's run that again, run speed test again. The needle goes right round. So it's actually faster using this um, aftermarket router. But the big question is, how much power does it use? Is it using any less lesser power? I don't think it is, because it still says there, it says 60 watts there, 58, it's fluctuating like it was before. Let's try again, new laptop. This is, this is fascinating, because if it uses the same power, then there really is no point using 12 volts. Let's watch another one of my favourite YouTubers. Oh look, a Bluetti advert, and I'm using the Bluetti to do this test. That's Hello, welcome it. back to the channel. This is the worst five things. Yeah, so sorry, Liam. So by the looks of this, we're saving around about ten watts. Not a lot, really. <laughs> I'm really surprised by that. Right now, if you want to know what I used to convert my Starlink to twelve volts. I'll leave a link in the description to this grey box. It doesn't have a name. It's um, 150 watt GigPo POE injector. And it is designed specifically for Starlink. And also you'll need your own little travel router as well. This is just a really cheap tra travel router. I think it was about 30 quid. And these are yeah, quite expensive actually. Actually, let's have a look on the Amazon. I'll tell you exactly how much it was. So this cost £109.99, we'll call it 110 quid, and the little pocket router costs 34 so we'll call it 35 quid. So £145, you can actually convert your Starlink to run off 12 volts. And like I said earlier, because there's no need to cut any wires, it really is plug and play. But is it worth it? I'll leave you to decide that. <laughs> I think that'd be all right. This isn't a permanent installation, by the way. This is for experimental purposes, just to make sure it actually works. Okay, so up here I have my charging shelf. So I've got lots of plugs and sockets here for charging my, my batteries, drones, etc, etc. So I'm going to use this shelf to house, temporarily house, my travel uh, router and my Starlink PoE injector. Now all I've got to do is flick the switch, turn it on, see what happens. So let's turn it on. Make sure it's all plugged in. We've got a blue light on there. Oh, we've got no lights on this one though. Oh yes we have, there we go. It's thinking about it. <laughs> it should all work. Now let's get the phone out, get our Starlink app up and running. Hopefully, with a bit of luck, it should work. Hopefully it connects to the router. Yes, right, so now I've can, oh, I've just heard something. I think the Starlink might be moving. Oh, I wanted to film it as well. It's moving by the sounds of it. Let's kind of have a quick look. Yeah, there you go. The Starlink is now facing straight up. Right, we're back in the van. Let's do a speed test. 
It's looking good. It's looking good. Holy crap, that's faster than 16.8. When I was in the in the barn, it was 10.1. There you go. <laughs> this is the important bit. Let's go and get my laptop and see if we can watch a movie. Right, so now let's have a little look, see how quick it is. Will it actually make any difference? Look at that. I that was the mild one. Yeah, we don't care. Let's just mute that because I don't want to get done for copyright. That's definitely a lot quicker. Oh look, Becky's uploaded a video. Yes, it's another day and it's another week that oh, we are I didn't realise Becky had uploaded a video Becky tonight. Bye. Let's have a little quick on, look on Amazon. Look how fast that is. This is lightning fast. It's almost instant. I am really impressed with Starlink, especially running it for a 12 volt router. That's bloody, that really is amazing. Sorry about that, I've just kicked the microphone. I'm so, so excited. So if you're thinking of installing Starlink in your camper van, but you also want to use Starlink in your house, this has got to be the perfect way to do it. So I will leave some Amazon links in the description of this video purely for your convenience. So if you're interested in buying these two devices to convert your Starlink into 12 volt without cutting any wires, they will be there for your convenience. Well, hopefully you found this video mildly entertaining, slightly informative. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'm sure you'll find this video just as entertaining. Thanks for watching. Ta-da for now. Thank you to everyone that came to the festival and said hello to us. We really enjoyed chatting with you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching.